Mount Rainier National Park is amazing. People come from all over the world. Every time I go there, I meet somebody um, from out of the country, of course, many out of state. And I'm really lucky that I live here in Washington State and within an hour and a half, I can get up there. Today, it's the end of summer and I really wanted to get to Mount Rainier to um, capture some summer photos of the mountain. I try to get it in all the seasons. Lots of different pictures. I used to sell them on Etsy, but I've since um, closed my Etsy shop, at least for now. But I want to take you guys along with me. Have you ever been up to, to Mount Rainier? Seen it up close and personal? Uh, been up there with all the green, luscious trees? It, it's just peaceful and beautiful. But today's drive was two hours to a place that we've never been before because we wanted to try out something different. And there's a place called Tolmy Lookout, and we thought about doing that, but that's a really, uh, probably an easy hike for some people, but it would take me, you know, all day. And so we didn't do that, but right close to it, and I'll put a map up here, is a lake, and it's called Mowich Lake. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'd never even heard of this before. Usually we're on the uh, the other side of Mount Rainier. This lake is the deepest and biggest in the Mount Rainier National Park. And it's uh, colors of different colors of blue, different shades of turquoise, green, very clear in most places. Uh, really amazing. So we had this great idea to go up there. And like I said, it took us two hours to get up there and a little bit less time to get down. The elevation is 4,920, I wanted to get it right for you, 4,929 feet. Mowich is a Chinook name for deer, D-E-E-R. And um, it is in a glacier crater. The thing is, is that everybody thought it'd be a really good idea to go the last weekend of the summer before Labor Day, take their kids, go camping for the long Labor Day weekend. And it was absolutely packed. I mean, it was, uh, you had to wait for somebody to pull out to get a park, a parking place, or you just parked and hiked. Um, so you'll see when I show you the pictures, uh, it was really worth it. And I wondered as we were going up, I'm thinking all these cars that are coming down and we're all in line to go up, this must be worth it. There's something going on here. Uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, snowshoe activity in the winter. Um, this road that we were on, this particular rough uh, forest road that we were um, on, was not half of it was not paved. It was just like, um, I'd say one and a half lanes. And when you're going up and it's kind of treacherous and you're looking straight down and you, you know, another vehicle's coming down. You know, I remember as a child, too, our dad taking us up to Mount Rainier and my sisters and I just, you know, looking down like, well, any little slip in the snow, any little slip in the ice, and that's it for us. But we had a really good time. I brought my dog Noah with us. Um, I want to share all the pictures. Also got some drone shots. So I hope you enjoy this. And if you have ever been to Mount Rainier or any part of it, or for sure if you've been to the Smowich Lake or camped there in the rugged terrain and rugged outdoors of this beautiful lake or Tolmy or anywhere, please let me know. And I hope that you enjoy this. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling. My name, they telling me to head your way down your road and past your gates. Keep your eyes on the horizon. I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home. Won't be long, I'm there before the setting sun. For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong when I already found
It's hard.